Welcome back. I've been away for a little while. Work's been pretty busy. My apologies. Um, let's jump into it. Let's talk about uh, the signings of Garyanov, Vertanen, and Kulik. Uh, Kulikov um, with their respective teams. Starting with Garyanov with the Dallas Stars. Uh, he was coming off his entry-level uh, contract and re-upped for two years for $2.55 million. Mwah! Beautiful contract for Dallas. Um, now, he's 6'3", for those of you who don't know him, 200 pounds, uh, 23 years old, had a birthday in June, uh, former first-round draft pick, 12th overall in 2015. Uh, Russian, if I haven't said that already. Now, last season in 64 games, he had 20 goals, 29 points, plus 5. And in the playoffs, he was one of their main offensive contributors in 27 games. 9 goals, 17 points, 0 in the plus-minus category. Uh, can he do it again, though, right? Um, now, he's he played 21 games for them last season and one game the season before that and didn't really do much. So uh, this is as well a prove a deal uh, for him too. Um, now the Stars have just over $4.1 million left in cap space. And don't forget they got to kind of sign a guy, one guy left in RFA, Rupe Heinz, who was, uh, came from the same draft but in the second round, 6 foot 3, 220 po uh, pound uh, Finnish player who plays cent center, which is more important, and left wing. And also had a breakout season in 60 games, 19 goals, 33 points, plus 3. And in 25 playoff games, had 2 goals, 13 points, minus 3. He got injured for the last um, couple games, I want to say, or so, um, versus Tampa. Uh, that depth really um, hurt the Stars uh, and, and their chances. So I'm thinking maybe, because he's a sentiment, maybe he, he makes a bit more money, maybe closer to $3 million mark. Also a short-term deal. We'll see how that turns out. Stars fans, I'd love to hear from you about that. Next up, let's talk about Jake Vertanen, um, who's re-upped with the Vancouver Canucks, who before Toffoli signed, surprisingly so, um, with Montreal, I think everyone thought um, at least there was a somewhat of a good chance the Canucks might re-up with him after trading what they did for him. Now, you know, has given a little bit of money to Jake Vertanen, which is also a very good deal. He signed a two-year $2.55 million. I want to say same as Garyanov. He's a year older, 24 years old, former first-round pick, sixth overall 2014, six foot one, 226 pounds, right winger. Um, he's been a bit of a disappointed, disappointment up until sort of this season. He's kind of broken out, hasn't he? Um, he had 18 goals in 69 games, 36 points, minus 4 in 16 playoff games. Uh, he was okay, 2 goals, 3 points, plus 2. But remember, he was pushed down to that fourth line for the most part, which I couldn't understand why he was, wasn't at least playing on that third line more, which is what I would expect this season. Maybe he even moonlights in the top 6 because of the loss of Toffoli and the fact that the Canucks, well, don't really have any cap space. They're kind of a million and a half over it right now. So they still have time to finagle things. The good news is they don't have any UFAs or RFAs left. The bad news is they still need depth at the forward and defense um, part of things. Um, and when it comes to, you know, some of the younger guys who might step in for the Canucks, um, now, Vasily Podolskin is still playing his last season in the KHL, but if that finishes around March or April, perhaps he steps in for the last part of the regular season uh, and the playoffs. Um, he's a right winger, and there's also, of course, Niels Hoaglander, who uh, is a left winger, who is uh, their second overall um, ranked prospect, according to the Hockey News. He could step in um, in training camp and... Uh, and possibly get a shot at, uh, you know, Toffoli's position as well, um, or, you know, on the third line or, or whatever. Uh, and then, of course, there's their defense, which we can talk about, um, you know, Schmidt being better in upgrade over Tanev, but, you know, Stetcher left too. I guess this means Brogan Rafferty at age 24-ish is uh, right shot from, who's been in the AHL for a while, is going to step in. He's their third-ranked uh, prospect um Right now, and of course, Oli Ulevi, who will also probably get an opportunity at training camp, um, who's a left shot defenseman. So we'll see how that goes. Lastly, let's talk about Dmitry Kulikov. Speaking of defensemen, um, now he's a former uh, a Jets 
D-man, um, who is playing on the second pairing, uh, left shot, 29 years old, has gonna have is gonna be 30 uh, on October 29th. He's Russian, six foot one, 204 pounds. Uh, former uh, first round pick, uh, 14th overall, 2009 with the Florida Panthers. Now, they signed him for a one-year deal for $1.15 million. Really good signing. He could also play the right side as well. Um, and, you know, I think his biggest problem before with the Jets was that he was just overpaid at $4.3 uh, plus million. Dollars. Um, that was the big issue there. But for this amount of money, I would think even closer to 2.5 or even $3 million would have been fair for him. Um, he doesn't put up much points. Obviously, he's more of a defensive guy, but in 51 games last season for the Jets, had two goals, 10 points, minus four. In four playoff games, he had two assists, not bad, right? And he was a minus one. So that's good for Jersey, um, who could use that depth on their defense right now um, on either side, really. Um, but keep in mind um, that uh, there's, Ty there's Ty Smith, who could very well break the lineup. He's a left shot D for them. He's ranked second overall on the prospect list uh, right now. Um, you could also talk about uh, Kevin Ball, but he may not be ready for a couple more seasons. So we'll see how that turns out. Again, um, Jersey fans, I'd love to hear from you in the comment section below. That's it. That's all. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, hit that notification bell. Um, thank you again so much for watching. Please be kind to each other out there and I'll see you soon.